To add or subtract polynomials, you'll need to get rid of parentheses, and then you combine like terms. As I mentioned in the video, Rules for Positive Exponents, I have a video to explain combining like terms. It's the first one on the algebra page of MrBForMath.com. In order to combine like terms, you need the same variable and exponent. And then you simply add or subtract the coefficients. So I'll underscore the first two like terms. When we combine them, we get 8n to the fifth. For n squared, there's no other n squared terms, so we'll just bring that down. Then looking at n, we have an n term here as well. So combining the 6 and the negative 2, and the last term to worry about is negative 10. There's nothing else to combine that with. So here's our answer, the simplified form of the original polynomial. To add or subtract these two polynomials, we'll have to get rid of the parentheses. This first set of parentheses we can basically just drop because there's really nothing in front. You could say there's a positive one, but if you were to distribute that to each term, nothing would change. It's pretty much the same here because I could say there's a positive one, but if I distribute this to each term, nothing's going to change. So we simply have 3x squared Uh, what I'm going to do is stack these terms underneath the like terms, and it'll be easier to combine them. So I'm just rewriting this underneath the matching like term. Draw a line, and let's see what's left. Notice that this problem is very similar to the one above. The only difference is the lower problem has a negative between the polynomials. So now, we'll have to distribute this negative to each term in parentheses. So this would give us a negative 3x squared, a negative 5x, and negative times negative will give us a positive 6. And again, these parentheses, I can just drop them because there's nothing in front to worry about, so I'll stack them up under the like terms. Carry the 1, signs are the same, signs are different, now for mixed practice I'll go over 11 more problems and we'll cover a variety where you're adding or subtracting polynomials or combining like terms. Here we'll need to distribute the negative, so this would be a positive 3x and a negative 20. I'll bring these down.
looking at this one, we'll have to distribute the negative. Negative times negative will give us a positive, 8y squared. Negative times positive will give us a negative, 5y. And then negative times negative. I'll stack these underneath the like terms. This will give us a negative 8, negative 2y, and there's a 1 in front of the y squared if nothing's written. Looking at this one, we have an n to the third and an n to the third. gives us 11 n to the third. We have an n to the first and an n to the first. So that combines to give us negative 15 n. And then we're left with the 18 and the 5. Down here, once again, we have to distribute this negative to each term. Now I'm going to bring this down and stack them under like terms. Be careful, this is 2x to the third. So I'll put it further out front. We don't have an x squared term over here, so I'll leave it blank under here. Negative 6x is going to go here. And negative 10. So this gives us positive 6x, negative 6x gives us a 0. I don't need to write anything. We have negative 7x squared and 2x to the third. I put the 2x to the third out in front because it's common practice in mathematics to arrange your powers in descending order. Looking at number 5, we have to get rid of these parentheses before we can combine these terms with any others. To get rid of the parentheses, we'll have to distribute this negative to each term in parentheses. 4a and negative 20. Now I'm just going to bring down everything I haven't touched. And I like to bring everything down because this allows me to ignore anything above this. I only have to focus on this line now. So looking for like terms, I have A, A, and A. Um, I think I'll just combine two of these on the first step. This will give us a negative. So I've taken care of that. I've taken care of that. I'm going to bring this down. So now I've taken care of that. And uh, maybe I'll just combine the first two. Seven and negative 20 gives us a negative 13 taking care of them and just bring down the negative 6. 
You don't have to proceed the way I just did. Uh, it just seemed like a way to be safe and keep up with everything. And again, I like to bring down what I'm not using because now I can just focus on this line. So negative 13a, positive 15a. Negative 13, negative 6. And here's our simplified polynomial. Looking at number 7, uh, we have a positive in front of the parentheses. So again, if I distribute that, nothing's going to change. I can basically just drop the parentheses. So I'll bring everything down. And now I'll stack these under the corresponding like terms. k to the third, 6k. So I don't have a k squared term. It's going to go here. And negative 10. So we have uh, negative 1k and 6. four k squared just comes down and again there's a one in front I think I'll do number eight this negative will have to distribute to get this out of parentheses So we'll have negative times negative, 7x to the fifth, negative times negative, and finally negative times positive. Now I'll bring these down and put them under the like terms. Uh, notice that I have x to the fourth, then x to the fifth. Uh, my preference is to line these up in descending order. So I think I'll go ahead and write these and then bring this down. Again, there's nothing in front of parentheses, so I can just drop the parentheses. And now I'll bring these down. 7x to the fifth is going to be first. Both negative. and both positive. We'll go ahead and tackle 6. Uh, we'll have to distribute this negative. In the first case we'll get a positive and a negative. I don't have much room to work here. Uh, I'll just bring this down. And then stack these under the like terms. Negative 5y will go here. 13 just comes down. Signs are the same. And signs are the same. That's a 1y to the third. So that gives us 8y to the third. Looking at number 9, we'll have to distribute this negative to each term. Of 
First we'll have a positive 2y to the third. Negative. And negative times negative gives us a positive 7. I'll just put these under the like terms. Signs are the same. There's a 1 in front. And signs are the same. For number 10 and number 11, you need to understand what this means in order to subtract correctly. We're asked to subtract this from this. So I'll write this first. And again, we're going to subtract this. So now this is set up correctly. I'll need to distribute the negative to each term. Negative times negative, 5y. And negative times positive. Now I'll just bring this down and put them under the like terms. Signs are the same. Signs are the same. And signs are different. And again with number 11, we're asked to subtract this polynomial from this polynomial. So I'll put this one first, and then show that I'm going to subtract this polynomial. So we have to distribute our negative. Negative times negative. Negative times positive. And negative times negative. Now when I bring this down, I have to be careful about like terms. This is y to the third, and there's no y to the third term here. So I'll put it out front. 15y squared is going to go here. And then minus 20. Uh, notice there's no y term up here, so this will be blank underneath, and I'll put the negative 20 here. Signs are different. Just bring down your negative 4y. Signs are the same. And 2y to the third just drops down. Here's the polynomial after the subtraction. If you would like some practice with the concepts I've just gone over, as long as you're at my website. I made two worksheets, each with a detailed answer key. Uh, the first one's less difficult and the second one is a little bit more difficult.